I'm Amber. And I'm Nisha, and we're the Broken Hearts, and we are DJs. And we play quite a broad range of music, and I think from the 1920s through till now. So anything from sort of swing um, to sort of rock and roll through to hip hop and dancehall. So it's quite varied. Some things you might not know about the Broken Hearts. <laughs> I was once on the cover of Time Out as a man. And I used to tour the world as one half of an Electro Clash booty bass uh, hip hop. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Well, we always dress the same when we DJ, um, and our style is it's quite kind of eclectic, but it's, it's very, we try and keep it quite theatrical. It's not um, too dissimilar from our day wear. And we take a lot of references from the history of visual culture, really, like film history and performance history, like kind of the circus and things like that, sideshows. We were always really interested in Siamese twins and the idea of doubles, but that have kind of like a dark side or something slightly macabre about it. So um, that's been quite a big influence as well. <laughs> and we like to wear a lot of young designers' clothes. These headpieces that we're wearing today are from Tour de Force, and the coats are from our friend Amici, and our dresses, which you can't see, are by um, Elizabeth Lau. We're currently working with Hendrix Gin, helping them out with their music selections for their events, putting together a compilation CD for them. We've also got a few collaborations coming up with um, an amazing knitwear brand called Electronic Chic. We've done some, um, some capes for them. And also with um, the eyelash brand Paper Self. Really spectacular little intricate eyelashes. We're really excited about both those collaborations. Fashion blogging has obviously grown to like a huge, huge extent. And we don't, we definitely don't include our blog among the realms of fashion bloggers who are doing incredibly well. Ours, ours is more kind of like a style diary, kind mm -hmm. of like keeping people up to date with what we've been up to and what we've been wearing. Um, but I mean, I think blogging as a phenomenon, it's, you know, people kind of tend to get annoyed about all bloggers in the front row or whatever, but it's just a new form of media. And essentially the people that are good at it are going to rise to the top and the people who aren't good at it aren't going to get anywhere. It's kind of the same as with anything, just because it's democratic and that anyone can start a blog doesn't mean that just because you start a blog you're going to be sitting next to Anna Wintour at Fashion Week. It's still going to you know, go through the same processes and the same sort of selection as traditional media. Vintage fashion has always been something we've been interested in and obviously inspired by as well. You know, history is always reinventing itself, especially in fashion. So I think it's always going to be important. It's never going to be something that goes away. Um, and there are such strong street style looks, especially yeah. in London, and you don't really get that in any of the other major fashion cities. And obviously, because our look is quite theatrical, that's a really important thing for us. So that's why we'll always be London girls at heart. <laughs> <laughs>